here's the first round of a servo calibration. We've got uh, our Arduino Mini already uh, set up on the breadboard. To uh, attach the servo to the breadboard, there's a little bit of a problem because we have a female servo and we need to get a connection there. So we're just going to use a set of three header pins. And to do that, first we just have to kind of use some pliers and we just kind of adjust those pins so that they're halfway. That'll let them stick into the into the servo connector and into the breadboard. So you can see there, there's a good connection there. And now we'll be able to plug those into the breadboard. Now we've got uh, the breadboard uh, set up. We've got everything set up as per the web page documentation. So let me move this a little bit over here. And the first thing we're going to do off screen is we're going to make sure that we've got tools board set. In our case, it's the SparkFun Pro Micro 5 volt 16 megahertz. You know, set whatever board you've got. And we're going to take a note that the uh, serial port is dev, TTY, whatever. You know, this is uh, basically because we're going to use that in just a minute. And we come over here and we're going to upload. You can see it start to uh, compile and upload. And now the sketch is running. Now for this particular sketch, we don't want to use uh, the default Arduino serial monitor. It's just not as good as some of the other choices we've got. If you're on Mac, we're going to use the screen program. And if you're on Windows, you'd use the putty program. And basically the command that we want is we want to say screen or putty. We want to give the same serial port as what the Arduino has, has uploaded to. And we want to give the baud rate of 115200. If we do that, we see the calibration program running. And we see the current value is 1500. And basically what we want to do is we want to find the value where, uh, which will be the midpoint that will stop the servo from moving. So we're going to press the J key and you'll see that current value is moving down. And you'll also see that the servo is slowing down. There's almost stopped. And that looks stopped. So at 1392. And if we keep going down, you'll see that uh, it's going the other way. So now we're going to use K to move back up and just confirm. And it looks like 1392 for this servo is pretty good. Basically, every servo is a little bit different because we've doctored them. And we just want to find the midpoint at this time. Later, we'll worry about the midpoints and we'll worry about how to save those onto the robot. But for now, just remember what that current value is that uh, makes the servo go into a stopped position. 